Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Uh, today we have done some big steps into the Righteous Fire character, and I'm sorry for everyone who cannot follow along uh, due to lack of currency. Remember, if you are struggling to make currency in PoE, there are a plethora of ways to make currency now. Uh, one prime example would just be juicing your white maps with Sentinel and just running with your Sentinel uh, to just constantly generate loot. Um, it's a very effective way that makes currency that you really don't have to do anything for. But anyway, this is not a currency making video. Today, we're going to be talking about some upgrades. So um, as you guys know from the League Starter, I was explaining how I don't want to include Aegis Melding into the League Starter as it's going to be expensive and Aegis Aurora itself is now eight exalts. Um, so yesterday I fit in melding of the flesh, but I wanted to fit in melding of the flesh without feeling like I dropped any damage because nobody wants to have like a 1 million RF build that costs like 40 exalts to build, right? That's kind of unfun. So this character should still be around 2.5, maybe a little more, 2.53 million damage. And my weapon is still a hot pile of shit. Uh, and my helmet is still the same helmet from before. I know it looks very good, but... It could be much better with conk and burn or burn with unveiled plus two um anyway let's talk about what we did so i have just recently integrated melding of the flesh uh, i defined it to be 71 it was like 1.2 exalt to buy it oh, oh it is now jumped in price actually it's double the price now um yikers it is now uh 2.5 exalts um anyway uh going on this is not a price checking stream I want to explain how I fit Melding of the Flesh in because of the resistance issue. So since we don't run Purity of Elements in this version and we take Melding out, we have very high res. So I told myself, how am I going to get all of this gear? Well, the first thing I did, and this is probably going to be very expensive to copy, uh, I got myself a Prismatic Heart Large Cluster Jewel. Previously, I had like a Corrosive Elements with burning bright and something else that people were selling for like 20 exalt because i was using it and i put in my latest video the one yesterday that this is a really garbage cluster jewel but it just happens to be what i'm using at the time this one i bought for about two exalt it's so it's significantly better um so we chill with our frost blink right we ignite with our technically i'll be igniting with my frost blink later too and then we shock with our tempest shield so sadist is very reliable and Prismatic Heart just gives us all res with some damage, which is really good. Um, right, so going into the mediums, I have Burning Bright, Flow of Life, and Student of Decay, Wrapped in Flame. That has not changed at all. In fact, I could actually replace Student of Decay with Flow of Life because my Chaos Res is overcapped. But nonetheless, uh, I want to talk about Recombinators a little bit because Recombinators are kind of busted right now. So I crafted this amulet yesterday. It's pretty ethical. It's very balanced. Uh, so basically, I locked in two fractured suffixes um from the two fracture fractured suffixes i was spamming reforged fire and reforged chaos actually got really lucky and reforged chaos and hit plus one fire and then crafted life and it's good uh furthermore i also crafted this ring which is actually really bad right now i've used about 10 uh delirium essences with the dot multi suffix to try to get something else and uh it's just not hitting life because what i wanted to do was get dot multi with life and then craft increased damage, but that's not happening. Uh, and then I snagged this ring, which I actually just bought. It's just very high res. Um, but the more important thing is it has the minimum frenzy, which I still want because the minimum frenzy is comparable to the dot multi because I'll have three of them, which is 12% more damage while mapping. Um, right. Other than that, all my gear is exactly the same. Uh, it was pretty much these big three swaps here that I did. This one is still being worked on. Now, to explain how what I did with Recombinators, and I'm sorry that ahead of time this is going to be very expensive because this is how player-driven economies work. Essentially, I was looking for Tier 1 to Tier 2 resistance rolls on accessories. So I would buy them for like 5 to 10 Chaos, right? Uh, higher the item level, the better, but let's be real. I mean, just getting already something set up is very good. Um, I was looking for Chaos Base and Fire and Lightning, or specifically fire or specifically lightning because when i'm running purity of ice i don't really have issues with the cold res right um so with that being said i would basically buy it scour it regal it for a prefix if i don't get a prefix scour again or regal again the purpose of this is to have the uh, have the ring rare so it helps influence it to be rare and not magic because magic cannot have two suffixes i don't know if that even makes sense i don't even know if that's how it works but that's what we were doing 
Then you do Jewelry Combinator. So I'm going to put both of them in, right? And now there is a chance. It's not guaranteed, but there is a chance it spits it out with two Fractured Mods. And there you go. And that would be a ring base we can now craft on. Done. Double Fractured Mod Ring. All right, with that being said, I want to talk about the next part, and then we're going to go jump into a map. So, um, with this character, we are currently rocking the standard uh, 84 max cold res from the... Oh, well, it's supposed to be 84, but I kind of can't show you because I have my purity on, right? So, I think with the Aegis Aurora swap, we were 83, maybe 82. So, all I did is I swapped max fire to max cold. Then I came down here... And I grabbed uh, Aura Effect, which I believe gave me plus one. And then I think Influence gave me plus one. I needed Influence anyway, but it was something like that. If you were lacking plus one, you can get plus one cold here. You can get plus two cold on chest. Um, I'm actually going to replace my Determination Effect for Purity of Ice Effect. And then replace my All Res for You Gain Endurance Charge Every X Second. And then I'm going to roll my uh, Jewels to have Endurance Charge Duration. But I know that's kind of big brain. We're not going to talk about that. So now I'm going to go run a map. So let's go ahead and jump right into a map. So currently I've been farming some tier 16. Oh, shit. I didn't realize I had two of them. That's fine. I've been running some tier 16 cemeteries. I'm probably going to switch this up. Uh, but I've been farming breach just because breach is fun. It's good XP. I like breach. Oh, I forgot if I put Breach on the map mod, but it's still fine. You can see that when you acquire your Melding Aegis, you basically turn into a very, very thick tank. The likelihood of you dying is very small. Yesterday, actually, you guys will probably get a clip uh, on on YouTube in like a day or two. Maybe, maybe a few more. But we did uh, Feared yesterday. We did Deathless Feared before I was even melding of the flesh, so that was pretty cool. I was really happy about it. It was pretty sketchy, but we did it, and that's all that matters. Uh, so we knocked uh, knocked out the Feared. It was pretty fun. Still haven't done the other three. I just was closer to setting up Feared, ironically. And then another big thing I did is uh, I actually bought two more Awakened Gems. I have Awakened Burn and Awakened Deli Focus, but... They don't really give me any damage yet. The big draw or the big appeal of, of those two gems, Awaken Burn and Awaken Deli Focus, is when they hit level 5, you get another plus 1. So that'll be another plus 2 to my Righteous Fire for clearing, which will be very, very, very smooth. And then when I get my weapon crafted, that's another plus 2, so that's actually plus 4... Single target, even in a melding setup, is still pretty good. And uh, we will go higher, for sure, with some more crafting. I've just been really impatient this league. I mean, I'm not not really. I mean, I'm like this every league. When the league launches, if I really enjoy it, I just want to grind, right? I just really, really, really want to grind. Oh, I just realized I forgot the influence mobs. Whoops. Yeah, normally I put influence mobs here. I don't know why Maven Witness was on. Anyway, you get the point. I don't have to clear the whole map, right? You guys understand? You got it. You guys have played some Righteous Fire. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. A lot of people ask about my Atlas, and I urge you guys to not copy my Atlas and to kind of, like, figure out exactly what it is that you want to do. But mine is currently specced into, like, Influence Mobs, uh, Harbinger, which I'm not sure if I like yet, Expedition, which I like doing Expedition, but I really dislike doing this stuff after you get the expedition currency uh harvest which has been my best friend um and then i have currently singular focus just for the extra 200 percent more favored maps i might even go back into not back into but i might go valley of the darkness because it's like rare map pretty much just get face rolled over so um i'm not really sure if this adds bonus quantity i feel like it does but i'm not sure i could basically just drop these two points and go boom boom and we would be good there 
anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves remember if things are too expensive for you for for righteous fire all you really need is your legacy of fury and a six link that you can get for 10 to 20 chaos at this point now maybe a little bit more expensive and you are flying through white tier maps yellow tier maps even some red tier maps you can like zoom through but you don't have to get to red tier maps to make currency you can literally farm t1 t2 t3 etc maps to make currency so don't feel discouraged if prices are very high i do have crafting guides on crafting pretty much everything on the uh, wikipedia i've made um and it's really not that expensive to get stuff started right that's the big part i know agus aurora is like eight exalt but you don't need agus to do any content in the game and you can just farm that currency i promise you you can do it you can do it just play the game some more spend more time in maps your hideout is lava anyway gonna catch you guys all later thank you guys so much for watching remember if you like the video please feel free to like share and subscribe and don't forget you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox but sundays see you guys all tomorrow